Oh, hi, welcome back to the channel. You guys, we have a set of wheels for the first time since October, 2022. We have at our disposal a vehicle. So we're packing the family up. We're heading out on the streets of gorgeous Tuscany and you're not gonna believe the first place the kids wanna stop at. First time Jeff's driven in a while, how's it feel? It's like riding a bike, driving a car. It's uh, yeah, I haven't driven in like almost four months, so. But it feels. So if you're in Tuscany, maybe get off the roads. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. So if you're in the area, watch no. out. <laughs> like a Big Mac. Does it? Yeah. Same as home? I mean, pretty close. Close enough that it tastes like a Big Mac and it's terrible for you, but I don't know. Something about a Big Mac I like. Yeah, your nuggets look different than the ones from home, which is probably a good thing. I think this is my sweet and sour sauce. The chocolate shape tastes way better than the one at home. Yep. Chicken nugget. This actually does taste different. It does? It does. Can I taste it? What did you say about the shake lift? <laughs> it tastes way better than the one at home. The shake does? Yeah. This burger has on it roasted zucchini, speck, um, prosciutto, <laughs> beef, lettuce, some sort of a Dijon mustard and Asiago. Asiago cheese. So it's pretty good for a McDonald's burger. Nice. Uh, grazie. Grazie. Here's your job. <laughs> what is this, Olivia? Oh, is this the one that's ice cream? Yeah, like yeah little... I think so. Okay. It is cool. see. Look at this little thing. See, see. It is ice cream. Is it good? That was 30 cents? Yep. Look at this little plate. <laughs> it's adorable. These are your two pink things, right? No, that's, that's mine. mine. Oh, this okay. This is mine. I get the blueberry muffins from the McDonald's at home. Like, at least once per shift. I'm trying a cappuccino at McDonald's. Outstanding, honestly. That's well, just like the ones we've been having in the other places. Well, that's because they have an actual cappuccino, cappuccino machine. The espresso yeah. machine is legit. How much is this? One euro sixty. <laughs> one euro sixty. One euro sixty. And uh, at the place we've been going to in the little village is one euro forty. Yep. Okay. Good job, McDonald's. They got like six or seven, six different places that you have to put your stuff. They got a place for emptying, you know, liquids that you haven't consumed yet. And then you got to find the spot. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like one of those circle square <laughs> triangle <laughs> toys, like games that you play, except for with uh, food waste. But that's really common in Italy, right? Oh, well, totally. The culture is very... Um, Conscious of yeah, very conscious about recycling and how they handle waste, for sure. He's been taking out the trash from our unit. It's his job, you know? Girls? What was the verdict? Tell us about your experience. Well, it was, it was good. You can't add additional toppings onto any burgers, so all of the burgers 
that I get at home or sandwiches that I would get at home from McDonald's, I couldn't have. They, right. didn't, they didn't have Junior Because you normally here. customize them. Yeah. Well, they also didn't, the one that I would be okay with not customizing is Junior Chicken, which they didn't have. Okay, so what did you have? I just had nuggets. And? Yeah, they were good. Yeah. The sweet and sour sauce tasted different than it did at home, but the nuggets tasted the same. McDonald's here is weird. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was really cool to try different um, different foods that they had here that they don't have at McDonald's in Canada. So we had, I had a macaron and I had a little chocolate that had ice cream in it. So that was really cool. Um, but there were some differences that I wasn't huge on that I probably would have preferred McDonald's in Canada. Um, but it was it was a good like experience. what? What's an example of a difference? Well, like Bella talked about it, right? Yeah. Or no? You can't, you, customize, you can't customize any anything. Right. Which is not my vibe, um, but yeah, it was it was a cool experience to try different stuff. But I mean, it was McDonald's. Like, but you still never day, got your breakfast sandwich. No, but that's because we came it after lunch in the afternoon. Maybe yeah. tomorrow morning for breakfast, we'll go and get a bacon egg McMuffin. Unreal. <laughs> they just said this was they doing good more girls. They always pull out their phones when someone's calling them. And they're like, "Hello." What kind of phone you got? <laughs> <laughs> a Nokia. Look at. And this store has flip phones. Look at these flip phones. Do you guys remember texting when you had to like press the button multiple times in order to spell the word? Oh my goodness. I haven't seen flip phones in a long time. They also have so look at this home one. phones. We're in an electronics store now because our Wi-Fi keeps on having real big problems. So our Airbnb host said we could replace the modem. He is in New York <laughs> and we are in Italy. So we have to kind of run around and fix things um, that have broken down. Anyway, trying to find a new modem. The kids have wandered over to the toy section and I'm being beckoned. <laughs> oh, look at this thing! Okay. It's only 200 euro. Oh my gosh, it's adorable! Dad. <laughs> it actually, this actually works. So you put your batteries in it and then there's a little. You're kidding. Foot pedal. Oh, your foot pedal. And there's a little trunk. Put all your little toys. Okay, the this three is. Three of us went in on it. It would only be sixty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's adorable. While we were out driving, we drove past a really large grocery store. We have not been in a really large grocery store since we've been here. So we pulled in and we said to the kids, "Everyone gets to pick one thing because right now our fridge is full. We have a little mini fridge um, in our condo, and we don't have like room to store lots of stuff." So. We said, we're going to go see what's in this large grocery store. Everyone gets to pick one thing. Let's see what we get. What's the matter? They don't sell cheddar cheese. Like literally anywhere in Italy. Anywhere that we've been. Right. So, like I can't even make mac and cheese. Because it's literally the main ingredient. And I used to eat mac and cheese like two or three times a week. So your one thing was gonna be cheddar cheese. Yeah, because this is like a big grocery store, like for Tino's. Yeah. So I thought they were gonna have at least small break of cheddar cheese. They have like 30 different types of cheese. None of them are cheddar. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Bella. I just want cheddar cheese. I really want a cookie to dunk in my tea. It can't be too sweet. I have no idea what to do. These are all her options. This is kind of like me with the cheddar cheese. No, it's office. not. It's not me with the cheddar cheese because I bet you you could dunk any of these in your tea. You think so? I know so. Okay, I found my one thing. Bella, what's Must your one thing nice. going to be? Probably nothing. How much you want to bet dad has more than one thing? 20 bucks. Well, I'm not actually going to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Jeff picked two things, limes and tuna. <laughs> what do you got? Protein. Get my protein up. Oh, my best. Special <laughs> K protein? What? 
Special K protein. This is your one option? Yeah. Okay. I need to get my protein intake up. So this is going to be it. Well, that was our drive through the streets of Tuscany to go to a McDonald's, an electronics store, and a grocery store. <laughs> I'm sure that in the next few days, when we still have access to a vehicle, we will go and explore more of the beautiful Tuscan countryside. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll see you back here next time at I Am Love.